You've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? You are what you eat. Well, I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently in the last few days, uh, specifically because that can be taken much further. So it's not just like your health isn't just what you eat. Like that has a huge impact on your physical health. But the, your, your mental health, your mental focus, your, your emotional health, your like everything about who you are and how you show up in the world is, is influenced by what you are taking in, what you are consuming. And this is especially important when it comes to media, media consumption. And today I want to talk about this concept and I want to tell you specifically how you can use this concept, this idea to constantly create profit breakthroughs for yourself, for your clients, and to, to, to grow your business and your success. These are the proven direct response, marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. Okay, so when I was getting started in financial copywriting, uh, there was this site, and, and the site is still out there, it's still popular, but I don't wanna name it by name. It was written by, or presumably written by people from like the inside of the financial world. And there was a lot of really interesting observation on markets and people and, and, and how markets were working and like the inner workings of the financial system. And so I followed it pretty consistently. And this is a site that was publishing, you know, three, four, five, I think at this point they're up to 10 or 20 articles a day easily that are being published on this site. And I was following it and I was reading and I was following it and I was reading and I was just, you know, I was staying on top of all of these ideas and they would often reflect on different things going on in the market, different trends. And, you know, I, I thought that it was a useful source of ideas for the financial copywriting that I was doing. What I didn't realize right away was that a whole, like the entire perspective, the entire, the entire attitude of this site was one of fear and anxiety and negativity. And so it showed up in lots of little ways throughout, the, throughout all of the editorial that was featured on this site. And, you know, from day to day, just reading articles or, or, or checking that site didn't necessarily feel like it was creating this, this fear, this anxiety, whatever. But over time, it's so going back to the you are what you eat, right? Uh, just having junk food for one meal isn't going to significantly change your body makeup or anything like that. But consistently over time, feeding yourself junk including mental junk, emotional junk, can have a cumulative effect where it is creating a lot of negativity. And so what I realized over time was that is the longer that I was engaging with this site, the more just fear and anxiety I had internalized from just reading this news that I thought was financial news that was helping me at, at work. And I realized that I actually had to just stop paying attention to that site because it was creating this entire like negative vibration inside me, like in my emotions, in my thoughts, in my everything. And if I wasn't going to break out of that, like what, uh, you know, I, I, I was going to continue to go down this negative path of my thoughts and emotions and, and so on. And so with this, I ask like, what are, what are you consuming? What are you consuming? That was an example for me of how I was consuming fear and negativity and anxiety and like all of this, this mental junk, right? That even as I, I recognized that there were some positives to what I was learning on that site and was able to use some of the ideas there for my financial copywriting work, it really like, it was doing some bad things to me. Um, and so, so what are you consuming? Are you, confu are you consuming fear or are you consuming love? Are you consuming stagnation or are you consuming growth? Like is, is what you're, you're consuming all about how, how things are stuck and like things are the way that they are and it's negative. There's no positive outcomes. There's no, uh, you know, like all these limitations are in place that prevent you from doing things or, 
is are you are you consuming information that, that teaches about growing through challenges, go overcoming obstacles, you know, taking on difficult things and succeeding? Are you consuming things that focus on 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 an abundance mindset or a scarcity mindset? Things that focus on, oh, there's there's not enough in the world, there's there's not enough like um the the reality is is uh, that that if you focus on on abundance you'll see abundance if you focus on scarcity you'll you'll see scarcity if you focus on stagnation you'll see stagnation if you focus on growth you'll see growth if you focus on fear you'll see fear if you focus on love you'll see love and so what is it that you're focused on how are you pursuing those things intentionally in what you're consuming, in what you're learning, and what you're what you are putting into your body on a daily basis? And not just the the nutritionally, are you feeding yourself physical junk food, but mentally, emotionally, are you feeding yourself mental and emotional junk food, or are you feeding yourself nutrition? And oftentimes, it can take a little bit more work to come up with a nutritious diet. It can take a little bit more. Um, emphasis and thoughtfulness to make sure that you're not, you know, veering down that path of of the easy out of junk food, especially in our like clickbait culture or our, our all these clickbait algorithms that put junk food in front of us on a daily basis, right? How can you choose not to pursue that junk food and instead choose to pursue the mental nutrition? So when you do this, when you do this, like before we get into the creating profit breakthroughs part of this, when you do this, like what's going to happen is it's going to change you on a lot of different levels. And I immediately thought of the Diltz logical levels. Uh, this is this is a concept from Robert Diltz out of out of neuro linguistic programming or NLP, and he he identifies that you know we when we do change work, change work happens on all of these different levels. It happens. It happens um, it, at at the very bottom. You can change the environment, and this is like the very base level thing that changes. Now, you know, somebody can be transplanted from one environment to another, and they don't necessarily have change. So, so it's not like maybe that's not the foundation. That's that's just like that's where the that's where the person meets the world is in the environment, right? So, so. When you when you actually change this environment, though, of what you're consuming, it can start to change your behavior. It can start to change your capabilities, like the things that you're able to do. It can start to change your beliefs and your values, which is when we really start to open up possibilities here. Like if if you are constantly consuming things that are around growth and abundance and positivity and love and like how to achieve more and create more value in the world. And it starts to change your beliefs around, ooh, you know, I think I could do these things that are growth and abundance and creating value in the world, right? And I think that I can be the type of person who is that. Then you get into identity, which is, uh, aside from stepping into to spirituality and like who you are, the nature of who you are in all of existence, identity tends to be like treated as the highest level and the Dilts logical levels. And so you start to shift, like the more that you consume this nutritious information, you start to shift your capabilities, your beliefs, your values, and even your identity of, of like, I am the type of person who understands how profit breakthroughs are created and I can go out and I can do these things that create profit breakthroughs, right? By consuming the right information that supports that, you start to internalize all these things and it changes and then you change. Like if you change your identity, you may actually choose to change beliefs and values and capabilities and behavior and environment. Like you you make conscious changes and it, it impacts up and down and it's constantly, like it's a constant process and it's also like, it's, it's like growing your muscles. Like growing your muscles, there is a lot of process to actually grow the muscles through repeated exercise, right? But even once they're grown, it doesn't mean that they're going to stay that way. If you stop exercising, if you stop taking care of your body, those muscles are going to atrophy. They're going to shrink. And so it is, it's something that's not just created initially, but it's maintained through time. Again, through what you're consuming, right? Again, through that type of information that supports the, the kind of success that you want to create. So what does this all have to do with with constantly creating profit breakthroughs? Well, 
for example, right before I recorded this, the, this episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, I went for a walk. I went for a walk and I opened up Audible and I opened up one of my favorite marketing audiobooks. And it's, it's a book that I've been through multiple times. And I just, I just kept listening. And I start, uh, you know, I, I press play and I listen to this. And this is, it's content that's not new to me. Okay. It's content that, that is not, it's not, uh, it's, it's not a grand revelation when I'm hearing this content for the first time. Like, like if I'd heard the content for the first time, right? It's all familiar concepts, but it is the repetition of those concepts that give me daily ideas and inspiration that allow me to make decisions today inspired by that and connecting all of the things that I know through all times. It's, it's the maintenance of my marketing muscle by constantly consuming all of these daily ideas, these inspirations, going back to my best books, going, going back over and over again, going back through the best training, going back through podcasts or going through new podcasts from the same people who I trust to give me this, this great, this positive content. It's, it's going to daily content from trusted sources wherever I can get it. And specifically, looking for things like success stories and learning from other people's success and hearing about other people's success and internalizing the feeling of other people's success and, and, and learning how to success information, not just in marketing, but in anything that I want to get better at. Constantly hearing, even if it is repetitious, even if it feels like the same thing, committing to like refreshing this how-to success knowledge over and over and over again. And, and really like consuming anything that feeds my state, anything that feeds my, my, constant, uh, my constant positive attitude, my constant positive awareness, my constant positive emotion. And it's not that I don't feel negative emotions, I definitely do. But when it comes time to do the work, I recognize that if I'm not in the right state, if I'm not in that right space, if I'm not in this right emotional place, I'm not going to 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 create the positive break breakthroughs that I want. I'm not able to to have great marketing ideas. And so and so when it comes time to come up with new ideas that could potentially create profit breakthroughs, just even going back to a familiar source of content that is that is positive, that is going to direct me, direct my attention, direct my intention direct my my uh, my thoughts and my creative imagination towards those positive profit breakthroughs well it's a very reliable thing to do to get me into the right space to be constantly creating profit breakthroughs for my business for my client's business so on and the other thing about this is is you know some people actually end up just saying oh i don't read the news at all and I actually believe that as a responsible citizen, you do need to read the news. You do need to be at least somewhat aware of the big things that are going on in your community and in the world at large. And yet you don't need to get constantly and perpetually pulled into those things and constantly be doom scrolling your phone, you know, for more bad news, more bad news, more bad news. You, you take in news and other content in moderation where there's potential negative exposure and seek out either, well, seek out balanced sources, but also seek out sources that integrate perspectives from multiple angles. So one of the things I love in particular about Google News is it will, it will show you full coverage of a particular news event, and it will show you like, you know, right-wing, left-wing news sources, et cetera, because all news sources seem to be biased in one direction or another. And so try to find the people who are as balanced as possible, but also try to get perspectives from as many angles as possible and integrate all of that into your total understanding of the situation. Don't reject people from one side of the political spectrum or another. Um, you know, you can reject specific ideas and say, yeah, I'm not taking that on. I, I ethically don't agree with it. But you can try to understand and try to understand the different perspectives on the situation. And, um, <laughs> and, and importantly, not spend too much time getting lost into one side of it or the other. And again, when it comes time to like, so, so you spend a little bit of time going through the news and you control that time. But then when it comes time to, okay, it's time to get in profit breakthroughs mode, 
then you go back to this 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 growth content, this abundance content, this nutritious content, this the stuff that's going to give you the right ideas and inspiration and attitude and feeling and emotions and all of that to create the kind of profit breakthroughs that you want and need. So this isn't, it's not very tactical, right? It's, it's not very tactical to, uh, to, to think about this, I guess, just in terms of you are what you consume, right? But it steps back and it says, okay, you are what you consume is the principle. That is the principle behind this. And then the strategy becomes we consume positive, nutritious anything, right? Positive, nutritious information, positive, nutritious food, positive, nutritious everything to support who we want to be. And then the, the, the techniques is actually sit down, the techniques and tactics is to sit down and choose your media sources based on based on how you need to understand the world and based on how you want to show up in the world. And so it's not hiding under a rock or anything like that, but it is recognizing that uh, if you spend too much time getting lost in the fighting in the world, and there will always be um, stupid people doing stupid fighting in the world. If you get too, if you spend too much time getting lost in that, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to have the energy and motivation and uh, inspiration for all those profit breakthroughs that you want to create. And so tactically, it's about choosing those positive media sources that will help you do that. And I hope that Breakthrough Marketing Secrets is one of those positive media sources. So um, I would encourage you, number one, to subscribe here, right? And uh, it, you can you can subscribe like I, this content is delivered by my YouTube channel. It's also delivered as a podcast. So if that's more convenient, for example, when I was walking around the block, I, I might have preferred audio over video. And so I make it available there. And if you want to go much deeper, you can certainly subscribe to my training about specific strategies and tactics for applying um, you know, for for more effective marketing and copywriting, and that's BTMS Insiders. It's like Netflix for copywriting and marketing training. So you can actually sit down and stream on an unlimited basis any kind of 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 positive career information, marketing and copywriting information that you would want, and it's all in the BTMS Insiders training catalog. So my name is Roy Fur. This is your uh, daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I'd love if you'd leave a comment with this episode. Uh, let me know on a scale of one to 10 how valuable you found it and why. What are your action items? What are your takeaways? What might you spend more time focused on and less time focused on? You know, leave that in the comments or reviews. Also tap that like button before you go so you get more content like this delivered to you and so the magical algorithms of the internet will share it with more people like you who will find it valuable. You can share it with folks directly and remember, subscribe before you go. Check the links in the description for that. I always aim for a 10 out of 10 value. I hope I've delivered it today and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.